So today we're going to be reacting to viral TikTok videos and giving you my special legal insight. Damn. The first thing we have to analyze is this despicable driver. Without any doubt, he's gonna be responsible for all that property damage that he's created with all those different vehicles. And certainly, he's gonna be responsible for any physical damage to those folks that he encounters. But that's not the biggest issue and the biggest problem that he has. This guy could be looking at some very serious jail time because he's using that vehicle as a weapon and if that results in physical injury to an innocent bystander, he's gonna have some serious criminal issues against him. So someone asked what happens in a situation where you're one of those innocent victims that got hit by this person and he fled and he doesn't, and you don't have his insurance information. Well, the unfortunate reality is you could be out of luck. First of all, if there is insurance, he hit so many different vehicles, my guess is there's gonna be insufficient to properly take care of everyone's damages. Secondly, most people that act like this behind the wheel typically don't have insurance or have insufficient insurance, which means that you better have your own coverage. So make sure you've got uninsured motorist coverage. So when you run into an idiot driver like this, you've got some protections with your own insurance company. But if this happens to you, first of all, get out of the way and then try and get their license plate and any kind of identifying information about the defendant. Oh God, that was absolutely disgusting. Even though it appears that she was the one who pressed the button to start the process in motion, she may have a claim against the company for failure to train and supervise with regards to the dangers involved. There may also be a claim against the manufacturer of the product because maybe there should be some sensory devices in place to make sure that accidents like this don't happen. This is a case that you need to get an attorney involved as quickly as possible to take care of that noodle, first of all, and then find out who was negligent as related to your lifetime potential injury. Sorry for the interruption, but for more content like this, follow our socials. And now, back to the video. A Florida cop hit an eight-year-old child on a bike with his patrol car. Can you go after a police officer after they destroy your child's life? So clearly that child has suffered substantial and catastrophic injuries because of the negligence of the police officer. Under these circumstances, you can sue an officer for his negligence behind the wheel. The issue is the problem of sovereign immunity, right? And what that basically means is, is the officer going to get away from certain issues as related to his own negligence behind the wheel? Here in the state of Texas, if that were to happen here, you would be able to go after the officer for his negligence in the operation of the vehicle, leading to the injuries and damages to that child. However, there are other jurisdictions that suggest what's called sovereign immunity, which would allow officers to escape liability for their actions as long as it's in their official capacities. In my opinion, that is absolutely wrong because anyone who's behind the wheel needs to be reasonably careful with regards to their actions such that it doesn't create damage or injuries to other people. But unfortunately, these are some of the laws that we have on the books. I'm hoping that this child makes a full recovery from those very substantial injuries. But if not, the claim that that family have may turn into a wrongful death claim against the officer and that department. What was this guy? Okay. Oh, okay. Is it inattentive? Let's see. So this is a really interesting video to watch. 
because first of all, without any doubt, the driver on the right side was clearly negligent by failing to pay attention, keep a safe distance, and then errantly moving to the left lane. No question it's his fault. However, the driver with the dash cam has got to understand what's really going on. All these cars on the right hand are all slowing down or stopped, and you're going really fast. I'm not saying they were negligent, but they need to be cautious and careful that something like this may happen in terms of vehicle from the right, trying to make that stupid move into the left lane, causing the accident. It's not his fault, but you gotta slow down and be more careful. And if it's me, I'm moving over a couple of lanes. I'm never gonna be next to a lane of traffic that's not moving as I'm going there because I know someone's gonna be impatient and that's what's gonna happen. A parent's nightmare. And I heard a loud boom. And what I saw is little children that stand right here on this area every morning waiting on the bus um, for the bus stop for school. It was stopped at Duminil and 32nd Street with its flashers on. This SUV ran a red light and tried to swerve around the bus, hitting three children standing on the sidewalk. My friends got hit. It's hurtful to see a family go through this for such a small child. That was standing out here getting ready to go to school, and this happens. Witnesses describing the scene as horrific. One of the three children stuck under the SUV. It was a little girl up under there. George Elliott lives on the corner where the accident happened. He's one of several neighbors who rushed to the rescue, lifting the SUV off of the young girl so police could pull her out. So we hollered and got some guys to come over and we raised the car up and this police pulled him out and pulled the little girl out, and I'm gonna tell you, she was in bad shape. The three kids rushed to Cozair Children's Hospital, the driver of the SUV to University Hospital. A parent's nightmare. There are specific bus laws that suggest you cannot take any action of this nature, but be slow and cautious when a bus is in your area, especially if that bus is in the process of transporting children. That did not happen here, and that defendant is going to be subject to some very severe criminal penalties, and they friggin' deserve it. Okay, so hopefully you found that to be pretty interesting, a lot of cool videos. Keep your comments coming. If you got one that's interesting, send it to us. Let's take a look at it and analyze it together. My name is Attorney Darren Miller, and as always, this is D-Law.